Calista. So it is November, guys, and you know what that means? It means Thanksgiving, my birthday, and what this video is about, which is Black Friday. So today I will be filming a Black Friday life hack slash tips video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys find it helpful, and also make sure to subscribe, and let's just get started. Also, if my voice sounds kind of raspy, it's because I went to a Taylor Swift concert and I was literally screaming. So for Black Friday, most people are waking up at super early times that you normally would be sleeping at, and when you have to set your alarm for that like dreadful 3 a.m. wake up time, it can be so annoying, and for me, there's nothing more that I really hate than the sound of my alarm. So normally, I would never set my alarm to a song to wake up to because I'm scared that I'd hate the song, but on Black Friday, it is best to set your alarm to a really fun, upbeat song. That way, it helps you wake up because when you hear really upbeat songs, it does help wake you up, and also, it just puts you in a better mood. For me, I would recommend Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap, Fetty Wap. I've heard people say his name Fetty Wap and Fetty Wap. I don't really know, but you know, just change your alarm to a really upbeat song just to get you a more happy about being up at that early time. So I know a lot of my viewers tend to drink Starbucks, especially on Black Friday, Starbucks lines can be literally out the door and around the corner. So when you're up at 3 a.m. and you wanna get shopping and you don't wanna wait in a line like that, get the Starbucks app and pre-order your coffee because then you do not have to wait in that line. You can just skip that line and walk through like, hey guys. So doing your research on Black Friday is so important. I remember one year I went Black Friday shopping and I didn't do any research and then I went and I went home and I saw everyone got these amazing deals at certain stores that I liked and I didn't get any of them because I didn't know about them. So do your research and see what certain stores are offering. Some stores even offer gift cards of like a hundred bucks to anybody that's like the first like hundred people in line. I know Victoria's Secret normally has $25 sweatshirts and yoga pants. Bath and Body Works I know normally has their candles for like $10. So if you know Black Friday you know there are a lot of lines and especially at malls there's normally like three mile lines until the mall opens. Malls normally open more than one door so definitely check there's normally way more doors open than the one that everyone's waiting at. So on Black Friday you guys will be doing a lot of waiting so I definitely recommend bringing some stuff with you. I would bring a book with me just because you don't want your cell phone battery to go out so I am reading The Spectacular Now right now. They have a movie it's a really good book highly recommend it and I also recommend bringing headphones so you can listen to music while you're waiting in line because there's a lot of waiting during Black Friday. During Black Friday you are going to be doing a lot of running around and for that I like to bring a small spray perfume with me. This one's from Scentbird and they actually sent me it. You guys know I love Scentbird. Um, you basically get designer perfumes every month for $14.99. They got limited edition cases for the fall so I got mine in this purple color and these are a really great Christmas gift. This scent is from Marc Jacobs. It's such a good fall scent so it's a really good deal and I really recommend getting Scentbird or bringing a spray perfume with you. So another life hack so you can just get up and go on Black Friday is to wear the clothes that you plan on wearing out to bed. It makes it so much easier to get out and go shopping in the morning. So if you're not the type of person that wants to go wait in a bunch of lines and all of that, then you can actually stay at your home. There's a thing called Cyber Monday, which is basically just like Black Friday. It's just on that Monday after Black Friday, and a lot of deals are online, so you can definitely do that. And also, a lot of stores have Black Friday deals online. They might not be as good as the deals in store, but they might just be like 50% off the whole website. So definitely look out for those. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys like it, and also make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to tell me what stores you guys plan on shopping at on Black Friday. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and bye guys.